We're at John Lloyd State Park in Dania, Florida. And uh, the strategy of the moment, if I don't get knocked on my butt, is to uh, detect on what I call the ledge, which is really where the water breaks and the shore begins. I would be out farther because, not because I'm chicken. I'm not chicken. I'm not. Okay, so I really don't want to get knocked on my ass. And every time I get on a target, I get knocked off the target. Because the next wave just takes me out. So, it's kind of nuts. You uh, have to be realistic when you're doing this. Number one, don't get hurt. If you get hurt, whoever you're coming home to is going to laugh at you. And they're going to wonder why you have no sense. Number two, number two, do what's reasonable. If it's not reasonable, don't do it. If it's too rough, don't be skin diving. If it's too deep, don't be skin diving. Why? Because you're going to end up getting shallow water blackout. And essentially what that is, is people, they dive, they go down, they detect the target, they come up, they get air, but they don't get enough oxygen in their blood. They go back down, they have an oxygen deficiency in their blood. They come up, they take another breath, they make it worse from the last time around. Next thing you know, if you can believe it, they pass out underwater and they die. Uh, they don't always get rescued fast enough. So the last time I checked, metal detecting is not worth your life. Anyway, weather's gorgeous. And um, this is one of those days you really want to remember. And it is gorgeous out. So we are in the water getting pounded. Nothing like it. Ah. That. Here's a good example of what you want to avoid. See that? It's missing the thumbs, the uh, the nut. So from one nut to another, always check your nuts. If they're not tight, you're gonna lose them. That was one thing I forgot to check was the nut. More later. And nada. All I'm doing is digging aluminum. So we are on the beach again. At uh, John Lloyd State Park. Here in Dania, Florida. And I am on a target. Now I'm going to get it in just a second here. It's coming and going. There it is. You know, even though this is a metal detector that you can use underwater, it gets fritzed out when you are, um... Oh, look at that. Y'all seeing that? Looks like a tent peg. Uh, uh. More crap. So we're back on the sand. What a shock. And we're heading north. And there goes the coconut. That is the highlight of the day. That and a lot of aluminum. This beach has been on the move in a very big way. When I was here a few weeks ago, that's a very hairy coconut. Um, um looking at what might be a trow here. I'm gonna take a look. And today I can get in it. Um contending with a uh 
detector shaft that is uh, got a loose, actually a missing nut, and I really don't feel like missing the bolt. So uh, we're gonna keep a close eye the on water. That. See if we can't turn it into some action. I am finding targets. It's not that I'm not finding targets. I said I'm finding the wrong target. Uh, I have to uh, be here when the water is calmer. Uh, it'll let me skin dive. But really, uh, it's not going to get good until I can get the scuba gear on. And I've got a handful of uh, financial details that, I ha that are in the way of got happening. So... You do what you can, when you can do it, and that's it. The other thing about this hobby is, for those of you who are new to it, we are on a target. It can be an expensive hobby. No, that sounds pretty good. Still don't have it, but it might be more than one target. Okay. This is a big scoop. It's not a T-Rex, but it looks like a T-Rex. I think it's aluminum. I hope this target doesn't end up deeper before I find out what it is. Aha! Okay. So, my competence finding targets has not been questioned, but my ability to find the right targets is certainly being questioned. Ah, foiled again, get it? More later. <laughs> 